Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Irma Mast. If you have been here for a while, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well and finds you in well and ready to begin another day. If this is in the morning, I guess it depends what time of your day this is for you. Um, here in Ohio, it is very nice. We have 70 degrees weather, just perfect. Um, not too cold, not too warm. Very nice this week. Last week we had very warm and 90 degrees weather. I had, um, I was ready for air conditioning, but I didn't have it in yet. So yes, I hope this finds you well. Um, I, today I will be talking about 10 healthy things that, 10 healthy habits that I do that help create a healthy lifestyle. Um, I do have some notes here, so that is why I'm looking down if I'm looking at my notes, but, um, I think it's very important that we have habits in our everyday life because we all create a lifestyle. We all have habits and it depends if we have, you know, good ones, if it creates a healthy lifestyle or if it's not such a good healthy lifestyle. So I think we'll just get into it. Some of these might not be um, apply to everyone has their own way of doing things, but I think each of these will apply in some way to everyone so um let's just get started so number one is having devotions um i am a christian a bible believing christian and so having my time with my father god is very important to me um i think we all crave parents love we crave a father's love and whether we have that with our our biological dad um or not we have that availability with our Heavenly Father. And for me, just spending time in the Bible, spending time talking with God, um, praying and listening is just very a big part of my day. Um, it helps that I don't feel as alone. Um, I think we all tend to feel lonely sometimes in how we feel or what we're going through maybe or where we're at in life or whatever it is. It depends where we're at. And just spending time with God in prayer and in talking with him and just being quiet and listening um, is such a vital part for for me to to think straight to have my priorities straight um, that I don't feel as lonely as I said like he's a constant companion um, it's just someone that is there all the time to have a great relationship with um, number two is drinking water I will repeat that drinking water we need water um about 10 11 years ago when i started having health issues i started drinking more water that was something simple that i could do and it's something that i feel the difference um personally the way i suggest if you're not in the habit of drinking water this is a quart jar um well it's actually like a it has a it's designed for a water bottle or whatever but i love it because it's and I keep this around. Um, I fill this in the morning. I have to have it all done before lunch. And then I fill it up and I have to have it done before supper. And I fill it up and have it to have it done before bedtime. That is a good way to start. Um, if you're not into the habit of drinking enough, I would suggest do, do some kind. I mean, it might not have to be a quart in the beginning. Maybe you can do a cup or a pint, wherever you're at and just start drinking. Um, I don't always get this specific glass done if I'm working all afternoon with cleaning clients or um, working outside or whatever, but I have, I thirst for my water. Like I just, I get thirsty because I'm so used to drinking it. And there's, there's some times when I go some days when I just, you know, I get get busy and I don't drink it all and um, drink as much and I feel it. Like it just makes the biggest difference in my mental health and um overall health as how much energy i have i while i sleep how much water i drink i have great well water so that is what i drink um occasionally i especially in the summertime i like to make tea and have tea in the refrigerator all the time and then i'll have some tea or i might add when half of this you know i do like i make it concentrate and then i add some tea or um energy drinks like i have from um, I am also a Plexus ambassador, so I do have like the active if I want active or just 
um, a tea that or some kind of flavoring lemon is great to put in it lemon and maybe a little sweetener for lemonade but drink that water um, Number three, these aren't, some of these aren't specifically in a certain order. I just, this is what I came up with. Um, some of these are not, they're not like this, this, and this. It's, this is just kind of what I came up with. Um, getting up and going to bed routine. And so, especially if you have a job or even if you're at home, I am, I work from home part-time and I have a part-time cleaning job. And so, I have a routine. I get up at a certain time, I go to bed at a certain time, and I'm kind of flexible, you know, in the evening if I'm not at home at a certain time, it's not a big deal anymore, um, but especially if you have some health issues, and just getting into a routine of, in the morning I get up, I don't use an alarm clock because I don't need one, I get, my body is used to it and I awake a certain time, but having some kind of routine, even if in the morning you don't have to get up, say, but instead of sleeping in until lunch, I get up at a certain time and eat my breakfast. And I think just having that routine is, is telling yourself, I am worth it. It is, it is worth to get up. Um, and again, I definitely need my sleep. And so I am pretty try to, you know, get home and get to bed in certain time. Um, for me, it's nine, and then there have you know there's occasion when our youth group has something in the evening, or if if I have something going on that it's a little bit later, it's not a big deal. But um, keeping that in your brain, like getting into that habit, has been is can be very powerful in helping yourself schedule time and being more time for time management. Um, the next thing is taking a bath, top bath each evening. That is something that I do. Um, I don't think that you have to take a tub bath every evening. For me personally, I love tub baths. It, they relax me. I love putting in essential oils, and they that which helps my skin and it just helps my relaxing. And so I prefer, and I just know automatically if I say tonight I'm not going to have a tub bath, I can shower in five minutes, four minutes, three minutes. Um, but if I do know if I'm planning to have a tub bath that I I okay I have to open the water I have to fill it up and then I give myself more time automatically which if I can have you know 15 minutes 15 to 30 minutes and just give myself that time to that is my time like I look forward to each evening and even if I'm somewhere and it's like uh like I do that every evening and then I look forward to that time where I'm just relaxing um, just it's just something that can be very helpful for you and I know not everyone has to benefit if you're a busy mom you might ha not have the the ability to have a nice top bath each evening but do something that you look forward to every day um, for me it's the top bath but maybe it's giving yourself 10 minutes of space of doing fun things or um, a 10 minute workout or 10 minute running or 10 minute um, quiet time completely not thinking nothing else and just meditating you know everyone has their own thing so um, d do something every day that you love to however that looks like um, another thing is keeping my phone in the kitchen and turned off at night my phone does not go in my bedroom my phone is at off in the evening people know when they call me at nine o'clock that i won't pick up because my phone is off um it's just a habit that i think it's so easy when i'm doing devotions at 8 30 in the evening and then I get to start with a phone call and then I never finish my devotions and it's time for bed and then it's just like that chaotic or it's not and my mind is to relax in the evening and so having my phone turned off it does not go in my bedroom my bedroom is very strictly to sleep um, it stays in the kitchen and then the morning I don't check it before I get out of bed I get out of bed before you know and go to the kitchen before I can check my phone so um, that is something that I am, I, every now and then I'll forget about it and then I'll get a call or something. I'm like, oh, why didn't I turn it off? I wanted that space. So, um, 
I think that it's a habit that we can do. Doing a hobby number, where am I going? One, two, three, four, five, six. Number six is doing a hobby or something that you enjoy and make it stress free. Um, I have a number of different creative outlets. For me, YouTube is one of my creative outlets. Just talking, educating, um, sharing is one of my creative outlets. Something I do am doing this year is I have a garden slash flower bed. Um, it is outside and I turned the soil over. It was just a kind of a weed area that they can't really get in with a mower. And so I turned the soil over and I'm working on it whenever I have time. And I it's just something working with soil is very therapeutic for me. And um, I have never done really much with flowers myself. My mom and my sisters were um, the green thumbs and I prefer picking the weeds, which there's always lots of weeds to pick outside. But um, just I'm seeing how, how what do I want in this? Do I have some herbs? I have a little bit of um, vegetables, um, but most of the flowers, like how do I want to do this? And it's just creative. Um, after I get done here, I actually am going to go outside and plant. I have some green flower things that I got that I want to plant, but um, just have something. I mean, for, maybe it's not, you know, a garden for you, but um, some people are very much into crafts. Personally, I'm not a craft person. I enjoy it when I'm doing it with friends or for myself, I'm not, it's not a thing that I really enjoy. So um, doing something, a hobby that you enjoy every day or whenever, like just that you can kind of continue to allow yourself to be creative and your own thing. Even kids love that where it's like, hey, this is your space. You can be creative with that. And it's amazing how much, um, how much how good it feels to have that space of of doing something exactly how you like and something that you enjoy type of thing um number seven number eight number seven <laughs> i am going at number seven take a walk be present and take in the fresh air bird hear the birds and see the flowers um i don't take a walk every day i used to almost every day and right now with my schedule the way it is i get i do get quite a bit of exercise um cleaning for people is definitely a lot of exercise and i'm getting out more with friends or doing things and so i don't take a walk every day but sometimes when you're outside we forget to take in the moment like we just we're out, we're going to get the mail and we walk to the mailbox and back and maybe we're on our phone or we're thinking about a dozen other things. And I think it's just being outside, whenever you're outside, just take a deep breath and smell how good the air is. What do you smell? Or maybe it's, maybe you smell a skunk, maybe you smell whatever. Um, but off, sometimes there are flowers or there's grass or whatever it is, like just take in what are what what am i smelling what am i seeing where what am i hearing and just stop and recognize those things um that is something that i have to be more very intentional about um it's very easy for me to say go get the mail go take out the mail like do something and then before i realize it hey i'm back in the house and what even weather is it outside like it's just we get so wrapped up in what we're doing and um i think that is something that is definitely um it's amazing when you spend time with kids and you point out some of those things and they're just in awe and i'm like we i need to do better in seeing those things so that's something that i'm very intentional about um number eight is eating healthy um whole basic foods are very easy and simple and have healthy and re have healthy foods readily available so um Eating healthy is a lifestyle and it's definitely an everyday habit choice. And so um, some good ways to start is having fresh fruits and vegetables that you enjoy in your house. Grabbing those for a snack or even at a meal. Like don't plan your meal and decide, hey, I'm just going to eat fresh fruits and vegetables for the next meal. Um, and there's so many different ways I could get into this a lot, but I don't want the video to be too long. Um, but there is 
there's so many ways and the next one I the one of them I have is bake something and just treat yourself um, don't forget when you go to the grocery store that if you're eating healthy like some people think maybe it's more expensive and it's certain some in some ways it is but eating whole foods actually isn't that expensive according to some things and or if you're unless you're you know used to eating out a ton of um, you can always exchange that but treat yourself um that is something that i am working on myself when i tr when i shop for groceries um i don't eat dairy so i don't do like the dairy free or the dairy ice cream and i have always loved ice cream and so i found some dairy free frozen dessert that is made with um coconut milk and some of them are almond milk and and I found that I really like that. And it's a little more expensive, but if, like, every now and then, that's a great treat. Like, it's okay to get that and have that for a dessert. Um, and if there's healthy things, it's surprising how little food you need when you are eating, when your gut is healed and when you're eating healthy. I know I eat a lot less than I used to at some point because I can eat something and my body absorbs it and I get the nutrition I need and I don't feel hungry anymore. And so um, that is a that is a lifestyle. That is something that is a habit. Either we have we all, all have habits with our food, whether that is um, grabbing you know chips and a pizza for supper, or maybe it's grabbing a burger somewhere. Um, and it's just we all have habits, but be intentional about what you eat. And the last one I have is remember to smile at people. I know this sounds very simple. But it's something that I am also intentional about or I'm, I think about, especially if I'm out shopping, it's surprising how easy it is to go from aisle to aisle. You're looking at your stuff and before you know it, you're just in that zone of what do I need, what do I want and getting into all these decisions like, should I get this or do I need this type of thing. And if you just look at people and smile, um, I enjoy that and I, I don't always do it. But it's something that I try to be intentional about. And every now and then the Holy Spirit will remind me. Like, I'll just be reminded. like, Smile at people. There are people around you. And it's amazing how many times you just smile at people. That I think about it. That you know others do it too. And I am much more conscious about others. Like When they look at me they're actually smiling. And it's like everything seems okay. Their world is okay. And you know we know that their world may not be okay and it just because I'm smiling doesn't mean everything in the world is okay but it means I'm okay and um, a smile can just brighten someone's day so much and I love receiving smiles even when I'm at you know the zoo at Walmart and um, I don't like Walmart to be honest but that is the time that I am more self kind or more intentional about what am I you know what am I, am I just there for the, to get my stuff or do I remember to smile at someone? So I hope that was encouraging. Um, I'd love to hear some of your habits or some of your, was there anything of this that you were going to, would you like to implement in your life now? Or maybe it was just encouraging or helpful. I hope it was helpful in some ways. And if you have any other ideas, video ideas, um, I did ask, I did get a few other ideas, but if you have any ideas in the, leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I'd love to hear your feedback. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye.